What's going on? It's Constantine, aka Smart Cut Commentaries, and um, this is gonna be a video about dreams and stuff like that. Actually, no, just not stuff like that. Dreams in general, just what dreams are, and what happens when you dream, and some facts about dreams and how we dream. So, uh, first of all, actually, I want to talk about. Notice the score when, when uh, this game. I don't know, and not I joined this game, but um, one of my friends joins this game. Uh, I was playing with him. One of my subscribers, actually, and a couple subscribers. And leave a comment if you were in this game. It is the most epic comeback I've ever had. Uh, we came in with like, we came in with 28 points. The other team had like 140, and we ended up winning at the end. And uh, we, uh, some of us played like shit. I know I played like shit. I didn't have it in my foul share, so I delete. I I didn't delete it. I just didn't have my foul share, and someone else had it, and I recorded it from their file share. So um, you're seeing this from his point of view. And uh, you'll see the final kill cam. Uh, one of my friends joined the other team, and I used the new tube just to, uh, just, just just to try to troll you know at the very end. But, uh, yeah, so, dreams. Um, pretty much, uh, dreams are, um, well, if you want to get an exact definition of what dreams are, they're imagery and thoughts and sounds and voices and all these different sensations that you have um, while you're sleeping. And uh, at the time that you're having them, you don't really know that you're having a dream. And it, it's only in rare cases where it's things called lucid dreams which uh, many people try to do, um, it's lucid dreams or when you know you're sleeping. Kind of like the movie Inception. If you've ever seen the movie Inception, that is uh, that is what lucid dreaming is. And uh, they know that they're dreaming, they know what they're doing isn't like, isn't real life. And, uh, and, because 90% of the time actually you have a dream, 90% of the time you have a dream, you completely forget about it after you wake up. And I know that that seems really strange to think about, but just just think about it. Like last night, I had a dream, and I I know it was a good dream. I just don't remember what it was about. I mean, you tell people usually when you tell people about the dreams you had, they're usually fake, um, unless you're on the, the rare ten percent or less of the time that they actually do remember and recall their dream accurately. And um, pretty much, there's pretty much no limit to what you can experience. You can experience. Um, you don't actually, like, let's say you experience, like, a, a plane, you're on a plane crashing to the ground. That doesn't necessarily mean that, um, you were on a plane and you're, you crashed and that you're reenacting it in your mind. That means more like, um, for example, it, it could represent something. It's symbolic, usually. And, um, for example, the crashing plane could mean, like, a failing relationship you're having with someone or, um, um, yeah, that's pretty much the only example I can come up with, come up with off the top of my head. And uh, they can be f your fears and, and all that stuff like that. And um, yeah, there's there's two forms of sleep. It's the rapid eye movement sleep, and then the slow wave sleep. And um, between your well, while you're sleeping, it's this whole cycle. And um, when you're in your REM, which is the rapid eye movement, you have like this inability inability to move. And it's um, that's why if you've ever noticed while you're sleeping, like you like let's say you're in a fight. You don't punch any the, like and you're sleeping. You don't like um you don't you don't punch in your bed when you're sleeping. You in, and you're in a fight in, in your dream. You're not actually punching. Or you're not actually running your feet. Like that's why you'll you'll notice like if you're in a fight scene, you'll never wake up with like bloody hands or anything. You'll never like punch anything. And uh, it's like a natural instinct that keeps us from uh, getting injured. And um and it's a for it's a form of protection. That's what's used to protect us from getting injured while we're sleeping and stuff like that. And uh, also while you're sleeping, you got, uh, you got, yeah, I'll read you some facts here, um, you forget 9% of your dreams and everybody dreams, and um, yeah, I know you may say you don't believe, you don't dream, but that's because you don't remember your dreams, and uh, you may not have known that you were dreaming. And also, blind people can dream. Um, if you, if you were born with vision, then you dream, you have vision and objects in your dreams, but if you, you were born blind, you can still dream about sights and uh, about smells and the, the feelings and um, it's like an elevated form, I guess, of uh, your senses other than vision. And you can also dream of only things that you know. Like for example, um, it's believed that you have your your brain is completely incapable of making up uh, faces, human faces. So every person you see in your dream, you've seen their face before. Uh, even though they may not be familiar to you, it could be like someone you quickly uh, glanced at while you were in your car. Some guy you saw driving the other direction, you'll never see him again in your life. You may see him in your dream as uh, as a possibly a, an important character that harms you or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Stuff like that. Um, and there are a few people that actually dream in black and white, which is actually pretty interesting. And um, 
Also, which is really interesting, uh, external stimuli invade your dreams. And that's the title of the fact. Um, pretty much, I'm not going to read this here anymore. And this is what I interpret it to be. Let's say you were, um, you're dreaming, right? And uh, in, in rare cases, let's say you're sleeping and your friends try to play a prank on you, right? While you're sleeping in a sleepover and they start dripping some water on your forehead. You may have like a dream where you, in your dream and you may be, um, you know, you might be like moving around uh, in like some water or they have some water falling on you while you're sleeping. And I think that's pretty interesting to think about. And also, when people say, uh, like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm falling asleep, you can't actually fall asleep because your body just gets switched into, like, s into sleep mode unless you kind of, like, shock yourself or snap yourself out of it. And that's why it's so hard when you just get start getting sleep, you kind of keep, quote-unquote, dozing off, which you really don't. You just you just kind of, you, you switch into the sleep mode, and then you just get absorbed into it, and then that's what, uh, that's why you can't really stop being tired once you get in that sleep mode near the end of the day. And, um... So yeah, if you guys want to learn more about some dreams, uh, let me know. And if you saw the video up to this point, leave a comment saying come back. And make sure to send in your commentaries for Subscriber Wednesday. I still don't have any submissions right now. And I'll definitely go on the, uh, on the first person that sends me their commentary. And if you don't have a commentary or an HGPVR, uh, I'll link you to my last video, will, which helps you on how to comment. And here, I'm, I'm NoobTubing Vengeance Hero. He's my friend. And uh, it was so funny. I was cracking up.